Hello and welcome back to another speed build video. Um, in this one we're building a base game, like, orange suburban house and it is really nice. I really liked how this one turned out. It's, it's like, honestly not that big on the inside, but it's got like the nicest exterior. Like, I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. It's really, really nice. Um, but yes, like it is a really nice house. Um, and it's the fourth, no, it's the third home that's base game that I've done a voiceover for today like I've done three in a row and I've got a fourth one that I'm about to do after this one um I like to pre-record the videos completely like I pre-record all the time I don't upload as soon as I've done the voiceover like this probably won't be uploaded for like two or th two and a half weeks maybe two weeks so if I've missed any like important sims news then you know oh well <laughs> um Oh, my, I got my, my thing's glitching. I'm going to pause the voice. Okay, sorry, my, um, iMovie was glitching, but it's fine now. So, we did do a nice, massive, like, wraparound porch, and it looks so, so nice. Like, it really defined how the house looked for me. Um, yeah, and really defined how nice it was for me. I really enjoyed how it looked. Um, I did kind of struggle with the roofing around it a little bit, because it was kind of like... A little bit clippy, like it was clipping just a little bit, but we sorted it out in the end. And just, yeah, this is how it is, so it looks nice and I really enjoy it. Um, I think we might make it a little bit smaller actually. Yeah, I think we might make the wraparound porch a little bit smaller. Um, because obviously the roof's a little bit like I don't know how to explain it, but we want I want to change the roof a little bit, like so. I think we end up making it a little bit smaller to adapt for the roof. Um, but yeah, we put on the columns and everything first and, you know, just, you know, do all of that stuff and then we go back and change it. And I think we changed the fence as well because I think this fence looks so nice, but I hate, yeah, we change it. I hate how, like, the little stumps appear when you don't want them to. Like, I really don't like that. Um, but anyway, we're just adding all the columns and then we move on to probably doing the windows and then floor plan, I imagine. Um... Now, this house has two bedrooms and one bathroom, I think. It's, as I said, it's not really that big on the inside. I mean, it's so nice, but it's not that big. Like, the wraparound pa uh, porch makes it look really big. It's quite deceiving, actually. Um, but either way, I do love it. And it's one of my favourite builds I've done, like, ever. And I'm willing to say that. Like, I've done a lot of good builds, and this is one of my favourite ever. Um, I think it just looks so nice. Now, we do do some nice landscaping on this one as well. Um, which I usually don't, didn't do on my houses that I built on console. I usually didn't do loads of landscaping because most of the time my houses were, like, on a budget and I couldn't access debug, like, console players can't access debug. Or maybe there is a way, but I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, we just, I just couldn't access it, so. I just that's so, you know. Um... Sorry, I'm losing track. <laughs> this voiceover is so bad. But yeah, I just had to like use the paid landscaping and obviously that was not in the budget. But this house is not on a massive budget. Like I wanted it to be cheap, but it didn't have to be extremely cheap. I just wanted it to be like, I didn't want it to be overly expensive is the only thing. Um, but yeah, we do like, I think we might add in a pool. Because obviously with the house being like smaller, we have more budget to spare on things like a pool or, you know, Nice kitchen stuff. Now, this house was built before the Windows update, so we could only place windows on four tiles. Yes. I know. Awful. But the house still turned out nice, so. But I don't think I could go back to it being like that, like, with us only being able to place them on four tiles, because it's so, like, we're so lucky now with how it works. Like, with, um, being able to place them anywhere we want. Like, it was so difficult sometimes to make doors fit where we wanted them, and it was, oh, awful sometimes. Um, I mean, obviously, like, The Sims 4 build mode and, you know, building experience is the best out of any Sims game. Like, the other day I tried to build a house in The Sims 3. Um, it went awful. Like, it was really, really bad. I mean, the house wasn't ugly per se, but, like, it just did not go well at all. Like, it really just, oh my god, it just, thinking about it, it was not good. It was really difficult. Oh, here we changed the patio. The porch, I keep calling it a patio. But yeah, it was really difficult to build on The Sims 3, and I didn't... I mean, I enjoyed it, but, like, it was hard, and I enjoyed The Sims 4 build experience a lot more. And I do think The Sims 3 is great for gameplay, like... But I don't... I don't, I don't want to go back and play it, because I don't want to ruin how good it was for me. 
kind of like, I don't want to ruin how much I enjoyed it in case I don't enjoy it now, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't want to ruin it for myself. So I only played for like half an hour and then I came off because I just didn't want to, just in case I ruined it for myself. Um, I might do a Let's Play on The Sims 3 though because I think that would be fun. Um, but honestly I wouldn't want to do that yet. I'd do it at some point though, definitely if people wanted to see it. So if you want to see like a Sims 3 Let's Play of any sort, just like leave it in the comments below and like, let me know what you want to see. Um, I do have some expansion, like an expansion for Sims 3. I have Light Noise and I have a stuff pack, I don't know, High End Loft stuff, is that what it's called? Um, because I came with the game when I bought it. Um, like I used to play Sims 3 on console and then when I switched to like playing Sims 4 on PC, I, um, oh, we give ourselves more money as well. But yeah, when I switched to playing on PC, I bought it on PC and it, come, it came with a free expansion and stuff pack, which was nice. Um, so yeah, I've got Light Night light nights expansion and high-end loft stuff pack. Um, I don't really know, like, what's in either of them, to be honest. Like, I know there's apartments in Light Night. Um, that's all I know, though. Uh, but if you want me to buy any, like, expansions for Sims 3 and do a Let's Play with them, like, a Generations Let's Play would be fun, and I'd be willing to buy the pack, to be honest. Like, I'd want to buy Seasons, probably, as well. Um, maybe Pets, I don't know, I mean... I just really love the game, it's so fun, and I said I don't want to ruin it for myself, but I do want to play the game still, like, I don't know, I'm just a bit torn whether I should play it much or not. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're, done, we're doing the furnishing now, so, we've got the living room, it's a decent size actually, like, it's a nice big living room with, like, grand sofas and whatnot, like, they're expensive sofas and they look expensive as well. Um, I wouldn't want them in real life, they look a bit old-fashioned, but, I mean, heck, they look nice. Like, good quality. Um, and now we're moving on to the bathrooms, which I usually do first. Also, sorry, it was two bathrooms, not one bathroom. So it's two bed and two baths. Um, which is nice. Like, nicer than just one bathroom, obviously. And the master bedroom's got the ensuite. And then there's the other room as well. And then the hall bathroom. Um, for any guests or, you know, the person in the second bedroom. Um... I feel like this house could easily be expanded as well. Like, I feel like this house could be made bigger over time and over time. That'd be fun. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is one of, like, my favourite builds. Or at least it was at the time of building. I really thought this one was one of my better ones <laughs> at the time. Obviously, I've advanced a bit now, but I still think it's a good build. Um, into the master bedroom now. Um, oh, that dress is half in the wall. I hope you realise. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Thank God. Um, I don't like overly furnished, because as I said, we're on a budget, so I don't like overly furnished, I don't, I mean, I spent a lot of the budget on expensive sofas downstairs, like, most of the furnishing budget was spent on the living room, uh, which is unusual, because it's usually just kind of evenly spread across different rooms, but yeah, mostly on the living room for this one. Um, we just kind of do the generic kids' room, because really I just couldn't be bothered to make it, like, some super unique room, plus... The budget didn't exactly permit, you know, spending lots of money on different types of furniture for the kids' room. So we just went with the bog-standard, cheapest kids' furniture, the base game one. Obviously base game, because this house is base game. If I, I don't know if I said that or not, I can't remember. <laughs> but it, yeah, it's base game. And you can find this on my old gallery page, which I'll link in the description. Well, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, you might have to scroll for a while, because... <clears throat> Actually, no, this was one of my more recent builds that I uploaded, so you won't have to scroll too far. But for some of my other builds, you'll have to scroll back, like, way far. Like, I've uploaded, like, 200 times, I think, on my own gallery page. In fact, I'm going to go and look quickly how many times I've uploaded. Hang on. Okay, so, I checked, and I've uploaded 223 times, sorry, to my own gallery page. Um, and I've got 19,114 downloads. But on my new gallery page, I've got, like, I've uploaded 25 times, I've got like 1,596 downloads, I think it was. I probably like botched up the numbers, but it was something like that. I mean, I've probably botched up the downloads, but I know the exact number of shared items. Um, But here we are just doing the landscaping, ready for the end of the build, really. Like, we're basically at the end, we just scooch the lot a little bit forward. Um, Get a new mailbox, probably, and yeah, put some terrain paint down, and that's probably about it. Um... But yeah, I really enjoyed this build, and 
this will be the last console build that I do upload. So honestly, if you have watched a lot of my other builds, I'd really appreciate it. Like, if you've watched a lot of them, thank you so much. Like, I do really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, with this being my last one, it means that I can finally start uploading my um Mac builds. Like, the PC builds and the ones I've done on Mac. So you'll see those coming very soon after this video, maybe even the next day. Uh, maybe even the same day, actually, because I usually upload twice on a Sunday now. But yeah, like, thank you so much for watching, and I do appreciate it. Um, But yeah, so this will be the last console build, and then we'll be moving on to bigger and better things with my new builds. Um, But yeah, if you've got any ideas for videos or, like, a Let's Play that you want me to do, just leave it in the comments below. Because I'm willing to do, like, any Let's Play, really. I don't really do them very often. I've never really, like, done that much gameplay, but honestly, I'm really willing to do any gameplay that anyone suggests, to be honest. Like, I'm really starting to get into gameplay a bit more, instead of just building. And I want to do some creator sim as well, which I think will be fun. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more content in the future, and put post notifications on. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. So, I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, click on one of the videos that's popped up on the screen as well if you want, because they're good videos, but bye.